Good evening, viewers. I'm Lisa McDonald, reporting live for Prime News TV. Tiny ingredients, big risks. Claims that nano-sized titanium dioxide, a substance allegedly linked to potential health and environmental hazards, is present in certain popular beverages. Well, what do we have here? Nanotechnology in Pepsi Cola. Microsoft and Coca-Cola sign a $1.1 billion five-year AI deal. Now, I bet you're wondering, oh, this is probably fake news. I'm just finding out about it myself. And like most other people who talked about this post, I'm going to show you the facts and when they started putting nanotech in soda. Yeah. Thankfully, I've been drinking soda in years. Let's get into it. Now, the above information is from an article of PubMed.mcbi.gov, published in 2017, seven years ago, just a few years before, you know, them shots. This study reports the detection of the presence of fluorescent MPs about five nanometers. I believe that's what the five nanometers stands for. In two of the most popular beverages, Coca-Cola, Coke, and Pepsi-Cola, Pepsi, the NPs contain H, C, and O, three elements with a tunable emission and with a quantum yield of 3.3 and 4.3% for Coke and Pepsi, respectively. Can you see right below? fluorescent nanoparticles present in Coca-Cola and Pepsi-Cola. I didn't know this, and I'm not going to act like I did, so I'm covering it now, because things resurface when people don't pay attention. So I like TikTok. Now, there's a reason why I highlighted this part of the article. The biodistribution study in major organs indicated that the nanoparticles were easily accumulated in the digestive tract and they were able to cross the blood-brain barrier and dispersed in the brain. You know, all this time I thought certain things, well, pretty much all things can go past the blood-brain barrier. Mmm. Yeah, leave what you think in the comments below. Peace and one love. Nano or nanites are tiny robotic organisms that are so small or microscopic they can enter human cells. Once they're in your body, they can enter your brain or digestive tract. So before you buy your next Pepsi or Coke, you may want to think about switching to a healthier beverage. For Prime News TV, I'm Lisa McDonald, and thanks for watching.